Hi guys, it's Gimbu here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be looking into is some fairly recent news that doesn't seem overly exciting on the surface, but actually has some pretty exciting intentions. And I'm, of course, talking about the lead programmer from Hello Games, who is set to make an appearance at GDC, or Game Developers Conference, in the actual name, in case you're wondering. Today, I want to have a look at the details of his upcoming speech, why this is interesting, and ultimately if it will benefit us in any way whatsoever. This video will be a bit of a shorter one, so sorry about that. Oh, and uh, Community Feedback Friday is also coming this Friday, so enjoy that. But anyway, with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. So first, I want to briefly explain what GDC is and why it actually exists. So the Game Developers Conference is an annual event whereby game developers get together to share their experiences on creating games, meeting new contacts, and ultimately to inspire those watching to maybe create something themselves. It's been an event that has gone on since the late 80s and is fairly popular in video game culture as it serves as a way of looking into the background of a game's development or the general technology behind it. It can sort of be seen as the TED Talks of video games, but at least to me, they're a, a bit more interesting. I think it's because sociology has just made me hate TED Talks fucking hell. But last year, Sean Murray himself actually made an appearance at GDC to talk about building worlds with maths. So in basic terms, how No Man's Sky functions with the technology Sean built himself. He touches on super complex game development shit, which I'd never understand, but also things like the engine No Man's Sky runs off. It's a super interesting video, about an hour long, and provides some pretty lengthy insight into how No Man's Sky functions behind the scenes. Oh, and Sean Murray is actually in public in, in like April. What the fuck? And it seems like something similar is happening this year round at GDC, but instead of Papa Sean blessing us, their lead programmer is blessing us. Now, this individual is called Innis McKendrick, probably the most Scottish name you'll ever come across. And as I said, he is the top of the top when it comes down to programming at Hello Games. Basically, he's like the god of the No Man's Sky universe because he has literally made most of the game. Now, you can see his cute face on quite a few photos, but famously, you can see him standing kind of awkwardly off to the side when the rest of Hello Games are shitting themselves about making no no Man's Sky Go Gold. Now, McKendrick is set to appear on the 20th of March at GDC alongside some other developers to discuss the different uses of procedural generation content. Now, this can be seen to be a bit similar to what Sean Murray spoke about last year, but from what I can tell, his speech will be a lot shorter and probably a lot more precise, mainly because it's shared between four other developers in an hour. I don't know. I, I could be reading this wrong, though. Now, the the description of his talk states that McKendrick will discuss why and how they changed the systems of No Man's Sky after launch. And if I'm interpreting this right, this basically means he will explain how and why the solar systems, so planet generation and planet position, changed after launch, likely referring to post-updates. Now, I'm not too sure if this is the right way to look at it. Maybe if you get a different interpretation or you know for sure, then let me know in case I fucked up. But regardless, the emphasis on why is very intriguing, at least to me. And this is because we find finally get to see inside the heads of Hello Games and why they choose to make the decisions they do. It will be nice to kind of know their motivation behind changing things and going about improving the game and ultimately how it has improved. But what I also think is interesting about the concept of Hello Games talking about No Man's Sky, especially with procedural generation and how it's changed over time, is that they may, and I say may extremely painfully because it's super unlikely, talk about the future of No Man's Sky. He may talk about how procedural generation will change systems 
in the future, maybe after the next update. And this could ultimately serve as that juicy content we've wanted so badly for the future of No Man's Sky. Maybe this could be our first look at the upcoming update. It's certainly a possibility that McKendrick could at least mention it, maybe hint at it, something of the sort. But of course, at the end of the day, this is just pure wishful thinking. Or on the alternative, and I always have to ground this into reality, fuck all could happen. At the end of the day, No Man's Sky and especially Hello Games never do what we expect them to do, so who knows. But yeah, that is basically all I have to say on the matter. Please do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, then please do feel free to to leave a like on it and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then i'd be absolutely fantastic thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video this is skimboot signing out